Hi fam, let's get right into it. We have two things on the program. We've got our tempo squats for skill, and then we have a retest of a workout we did in mid-April, late March, early April, that we're gonna be retesting to see if we can improve our skill, our score. For the tempo squats, we can work from the ground, the rack, or use a dumbbell or kettlebell, get that thing in the front rack, right? We're looking to keep, keep those elbows up don't let them drop down here, right? So drive those elbows up, use a loose fingertip grip if you don't have good mobility. If you can maintain a full grip, do that. That's just more power to you. Otherwise, relax the hand, the, the fingers, and drive those elbows up. Three seconds down, and a minimum three second hold in the bottom. Now we know because of the shelter in place, everyone has different, different amount of weights, but we can strength train still by modulating the amount of time that we're at the bottom of the squat. So if you have an empty barbell, Hold it instead for three seconds at the bottom, for, like hold it for 10 seconds, right? Or some, somewhere less than that. When we're doing these squats, we want to really keep our eyes up and not looking at the ground. When we look at the ground, our elbows, uh, uh, our elbows tend to drop, right? It uh, collapses us in the midline. So keep that those eyes up, elbows up, chest tall, and you should be good to go. Kettlebell, same thing, right? Front rack position, drive that elbow up, use the other hand for balance, send the hips back, drive those knees out, chest tall, eyes up, right? But again, kettlebells are typically lighter than barbells, right? From the goblet squat or front rack, you can sit at the bottom of the squat longer to get the same stimulus as someone that has a barbell with more weight, right? So again, we want you to go to RPE7, so that means on a scale of 7 out of 10 difficulty. For the wads, a 15 minute ascending ladder. You got double unders, you got power snatches, and you got burpees, right? This is your typical double under, hand near the side, chest tall, relaxed shoulders. Now I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of double unders that, are, that count, but they're super inefficient. This is the knee high athlete, right? And then you have the athlete that kicks their heels back. Both of them are acceptable double, double unders, but given that this is a very shoulder intense exercise, I mean wad, what's going to happen is you're going to fatigue even faster and the double under is going to trip up. So keep those shoulders relaxed and keep those hands close to the side. This, this workout definitely rewards those that are efficient in double unders. So if you got double unders, do them. If you don't, we can switch into jumping jacks, mountain climbers, or uh, partial double unders, but you shouldn't be tripping up 10 times during your double unders on this ascending ladder. You should be pretty efficient on them. Power snatches, chest tall. Uh, you can cycle or do singles, but again, we're just focusing on, on good contact in the hips, right? What you're about to see me demonstrate is a bad snatch where someone's really bent over. When we're really bent over the bar, we tend to hit uh, lower than the hip crease. We'll hit on our quads, Boom. right? It's not that it doesn't count, it's just inefficient. We're bent over, see how it just bangs off the lower part of my quad. But if we keep the chest tall, all of a sudden it's hitting here in the hip crease. Right? So chest tall, eyes up, very similar to the to the, the tempo squats, right? If we don't have a barbell to do power snatches, we can always do uh, kettlebell snatches, dumbbell snatches. Kettlebell snatches will always be from the hang, right? Whereas the dumbbell snatches will be from the ground. And don't feel like you have to alternate every single rep between each hand, especially in the big, uh, as I'm sorry, especially as you get to the the later sets, right? Like if you're in round eight or nine, you should be doing all on one side on the right arm and then switching to the left. For the dumbbell snatches, though, you need to alternate every single rep. Burpees, as you know, it's going to be chest and quads to ground, snap up, a little jump up top. So you have your previous scores, fam. Go chasing. Beat that last score. And as always, stay safe and be well.